Have you ever wondered about the mysterious appearances of the Virgin Mary around the world? These are known as Marian apparitions, significant events in the Catholic faith that involve visions of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Throughout history, the Catholic Church has officially recognized 12 of these apparitions. These divine encounters span across centuries and continents, each bearing a unique message for humanity. Join us as we traverse through time and space to understand these divine encounters. Our journey begins in 1531, in Guadalupe, Mexico. A humble man named Juan Diego was walking, when he encountered a vision of the Virgin Mary. This was no ordinary sighting. The Virgin Mary appeared on his cloak, imprinted with an image now recognized by millions. This image, the Our Lady of Guadalupe, is more than a simple imprint. It's a symbol of faith and a beacon of hope in Catholicism. Juan Diego, a simple man, was chosen for this divine encounter, highlighting the message that Mary's love and protection extend to everyone, regardless of their status or position in society. The apparition's significance extends beyond the spiritual realm, playing a crucial role in the cultural and national identity of Mexico. This event, the appearance of Our Lady of Guadalupe on Juan Diego's cloak, is not just a story of the past. It continues to resonate today, a testament to the enduring power and influence of faith. This apparition holds a profound place in Mexican culture and Catholicism worldwide. We now move forward to the 17th century in Laos, France. In this quiet hamlet, a humble shepherdess named Benoit Rencurel experienced a series of extraordinary visions. Over a period of 54 years, from 1664 to 1718, the Blessed Virgin Mary appeared to Benoit, delivering messages of profound significance. Benoit's encounters with Our Lady of Laos were not fleeting visions, they were prolonged experiences, often occurring while she was tending to her flock in the fields. The messages she received were of conversion and penance, calls for mankind to return to a path of righteousness and piety. These apparitions were unique as they emphasized the importance of the sacrament of confession, a cornerstone of the Catholic faith. The apparitions of Our Lady of Laos, approved by the Catholic Church, continue to inspire the faithful. Laos, the humble hamlet that once served as the backdrop to these divine encounters, remains a place of pilgrimage and spiritual renewal till this day. Fast forward to 1830 in Rue du Bac, Paris. The City of Lights became the stage for another Marian apparition, this time to a humble novice, Catherine Labour. Catherine, a member of the Daughters of Charity, reported visions of the Virgin Mary, who spoke to her with a message of faith and devotion. In one of these visions, Mary presented Catherine with a design for a medal. This wasn't an ordinary piece of jewelry, but a token imbued with spiritual significance. On one side, Mary stood on a globe, rays of light streaming from her fingers with the words, O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. The reverse side depicted a cross with a bar at its base, intertwined with the letter M, and below it, the sacred heart of Jesus crowned with thorns, and the immaculate heart of Mary, pierced with a sword. Following these visions, Catherine worked to create this token, which came to be known as the Miraculous Medal. The medal became a physical representation of Mary's love and protection, serving as a beacon of hope and faith for millions around the world. This apparition led to the widespread devotion to Mary through the Miraculous Medal. Our next stop is 1858 in Lourdes, France. Here, a remarkable tale unfolded starring a humble girl named Bernadette Soubirous. Bernadette, despite her modest life, was chosen for an extraordinary encounter. She witnessed the Virgin Mary, resplendent and serene not once but 18 times near a grotto. The Blessed Virgin, known as the Immaculate Conception in this apparition, shared a secret with Bernadette and instructed her to dig in the ground nearby. What seemed like a bizarre request at first, soon revealed its miraculous nature. A spring of water gushed forth from the spot, a spring that would soon be renowned for its healing properties. Lourdes became a beacon of hope for the sick and the suffering. Millions have visited the sacred site seeking solace and healing in the miraculous waters. Faith and science intertwine in Lourdes, with countless inexplicable recoveries documented. Lourdes is now a global destination for healing and faith. We arrive in the year 1871, in Pont-Main, France. Amidst the turmoil of the Franco-Prussian War, a beacon of hope appears to the children of this small village. They witness the Blessed Virgin Mary, her presence radiant and comforting. Her message? A call to prayer and a promise of hope, her apparition a divine reassurance that even in the darkest times, faith and prayer can light the way. This apparition is a testament to the power of prayer and hope, amidst turmoil. 
moving on to 1879, in Knock, Ireland. In a small rural village, an event took place that would forever mark its place in the annals of Marian apparitions. It was an evening like any other when villagers reported seeing an extraordinary vision. Unlike other Marian apparitions, this one was silent. The Virgin Mary, alongside St. Joseph and St. John the Evangelist, appeared on the gable of the local church, bathed in a divine light. No words were spoken, yet the silence spoke volumes. The villagers in their humble lives found solace and strength in this silent apparition. It served as a beacon of faith during a time when Ireland was grappling with social and political unrest. The apparition had a profound impact, turning Knock into a place of pilgrimage for Catholics worldwide. Today the Shrine of Our Lady of Knock draws millions seeking hope, peace, and spiritual renewal. Knock stands as a symbol of faith and resilience in Irish Catholicism. We now transport to 1917, in Fatima, Portugal. A year marked by the throes of World War I, a beacon of peace and hope emerged in the form of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Three shepherd children, Lucia, Francisco, and Jacinta, found themselves in the presence of the Lady more brilliant than the sun. Appearing to them on six occasions, she entrusted them with three secrets, prophecies that touched on the outcome of the war, the future of the papacy, and the fate of the world. Her messages were not just of doom and gloom but of hope and redemption. She called for prayer, especially the rosary and for penance, promising that peace would be granted to the world if her requests were heeded. The culmination of these apparitions was the miracle of the sun, witnessed by tens of thousands, cementing Fatima as a place of profound spiritual significance. Fatima continues to inspire devotion and a call for world peace. The year is 1932, in Borang, Belgium. A vision of a golden-hearted Virgin Mary began appearing to five children, imparting an essential message. The apparition emphasized the importance of prayer, urging the children to pray often. This message was not only for the children but for everyone. The children's experiences stirred the hearts of many, leading to increased devotion and faith. The events at Borang stand as a testament to the power of prayer. Borang reminds us of the power of prayer and devotion. Shortly after, in 1933, we find ourselves in Banu, Belgium. Here, a young girl named Mariette Bako experienced a series of apparitions. The Virgin Mary, presenting herself as the Virgin of the Poor, revealed a spring of healing waters to Mariette. Thousands have since journeyed to this humble spring seeking physical and spiritual restoration. These apparitions emphasize Mary's deep compassion for the sick and suffering, underscoring her role as a tender mother to all. Banu remains a beacon of hope and healing. Our journey now takes us to 1973 in Akita, Japan. In a small remote convent, a humble nun named Sister Agnes Katsuko Sasagawa experienced a series of extraordinary encounters. The Virgin Mary appeared to her in a statue made of hardwood, sharing messages of prayer and penance. These apparitions were accompanied by supernatural phenomena, including the statue weeping, bleeding, and even speaking to Sister Agnes. The messages Sister Agnes received were dire, warning of chastisements and urging mankind to repent for its sins. The Virgin Mary called for fervent prayer, specifically the recitation of the Holy Rosary, and emphasized the importance of penance. She also expressed deep concern for the Church, highlighting the internal struggles it would face. The Church conducted an extensive investigation into these events, and in 1984, the local bishop officially recognized the supernatural character of the events at Akita. To this day, the events at Akita serve as a reminder of Mary's love and concern for humanity. Akita serves as a call for repentance and prayer for the Church. Finally, we land in the years 1981 to 1989, in Kibaho, Rwanda. Here, the Blessed Virgin Mary appeared to three young schoolgirls, Alphonsine, Anathali, and Marie Claire. Each encounter was profound, filled with messages of repentance, preparation, and an urgent call to return to the teachings of the Gospel. Alphonsine, the first to witness the apparition, was told to encourage prayer to prevent a future calamity. Anathali and Marie Claire were also instructed to urge their community towards repentance and prayer. The messages delivered were consistent, a call for the world to turn away from sin and embrace a life of holiness. But the apparitions of Kibeho carried a chilling prophecy too, the girls were shown horrifying visions of an impending disaster, a stark prediction of the Rwandan genocide that occurred a decade later. Kibeho stands as a stark reminder of the need for repentance and reconciliation. The echoes of these apparitions continue to resonate, reminding us of the power of faith, the urgency of repentance, and the necessity of living in harmony. 
From Mexico's apparition in 1531 to Rwanda's in the 1980s, these divine manifestations of Mary, known as Marian apparitions, have significantly influenced the Catholic world. Each of the twelve encounters, spanning centuries and continents, is a profound revelation of divine love and guidance, offering a unique insight into the enduring relevance of Mary's messages. These apparitions serve as spiritual milestones inspiring and challenging believers to deepen their faith. They are not just extraordinary occurrences they range from miraculous healings to everyday miracles from prophecies to ordinary of hope, unity and faith. As we transition to our new scene, these Marian apparitions continue to weave through our narrative, reminding us that we are never alone in our spiritual spiritual journeys. They signify the ever-present love of Our Lady, guiding and nurturing us through life's highs and lows. This comprehensive conclusion is a powerful reminder of the enduring presence of Mary and the richness of our faith that infuse every story we tell. In understanding the significance of Marian apparitions, we delve deeper into the profound manifestations of divine love and guidance. Each apparition is a beacon of hope, a message of healing, unity, and faith. They serve as constant reminders of the enduring love Our Lady holds for humanity. These apparitions are more than mere sightings. They are spiritual milestones inspiring individuals and communities to deepen their faith, to seek solace in times of despair, and to celebrate in times of joy. They reiterate the message that believers are never alone in their spiritual journey. Each encounter with Our Lady, each apparition, signifies that her love is ever-present, guiding us, nurturing us through life's trials and triumphs. Whether it's the miraculous image imprinted on Juan Diego's tilma, or the healing waters of Lourdes, or the prophetic messages of Fatima and Kibejo, these divine manifestations serve as a testament to our faith's richness and the enduring love of Our Lady for humanity. Indeed, the Marian apparitions are not just events of the past, they continue to resonate in our present, shaping our understanding of faith, love, and devotion. As we journey through life we carry these messages with us, reminders of the divine love that guides us in the deep enduring connection we share with Our Lady.